I mean, music includes theory and math, and uh, but it is not of theory and math. It's supposed to be on an emotional level. The actual yeah, yeah. music is supposed to be on an emotional yeah. level. The, the uh, well, Sue teachers and Jim teachers, so they, they probably say stuff like, uh, you, you learn the, the rules and then you throw them away. Okay. But you have to know when, yes, you have to know the rules first, you have to know when it's time to throw away because you know, some people throw away the rules. And they, but um, like, like, like the, the gig with the, I'm actually still on tour with Esperanza now, I just came up to do this one. <laughs> and I'm going back and was like, most of the, everybody, even like, the, there's like all kids in the band, she's a kid, and like her teacher's in the band and her teacher's younger than me, so I'm like, you know, so I'm like the old, you know, I was like, hey, what, did, what did you do in the 40s? What did you do? A little way brazen uh, compared to what, can I do all three at the same time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Even better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like that first cut on that, on that, on that new one from Black and Loud, how you got wicked on the guitar. Oh. Uh, uh, said like swing or bebop or, or jump music. I, they never used the word. And actually, Eddie said, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, McCoy said, you know, I don't, the, the word doesn't mean anything. And then without getting too graphic, the, the story, you know the story about jazz, the book? You know? Yeah, the supposed story is, way back in the day, there was this word jazz, J-A-S-S, -S, or J-A-S that musicians used to use uh, 
was not a musical. Let me just put it that way. It wasn't about music. It was like that after the gig, they were talking about, yeah, well, it's time to go get some jazz. You can fit it in. And uh, supposedly some reporter people there, whatever, and they thought they were saying what they thought was jazz. They thought they were talking about the music, and they weren't talking about the music at all. They were talking about something else. So, and then so this word that is nothing and meant nothing became this other thing. And yeah, but that's like all oh, this percussion player Fluid and Pablo Batista, and he was saying like if you go to Cuba and say the word salsa to musicians, that doesn't mean anything. Because like salsa is, is a dance, it's not like a, a thing. Or if you were on a chart, you just wrote salsa, it meant this kind of groove and this kind of tempo, but it's not like, oh yeah, salsa music, they were like, what are you talking about? So, I, 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 with the older cats, they would do that, and with younger cats, it's kind of weird because they think it's like, oh, jazz, you know, and it's to them, it's like suits and, and uh, pork pie hats and all that. I, I don't really. You know, like, 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 if you ask some hip hop kids what hip hop is, they, they say it's a lifestyle. They, they say it's not music. So, um, for me, it's, it's kind of, it kind of makes me cringe that word. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, it doesn't mean nothing. It, it's just about, you know, uh, you know, could you call, how could you call, like, Ornette Jazz and in the same breath call, Kenny G jazz in the same breath. You know, that this music has nothing to do with each other. And I'm not insulting the music, I mean, they have nothing to do with each other. So, you know, and like even Bernstein wrote some stuff that was like, you know, uh, Candide or whatever. You know, it's like swinging. Is that jazz? Is that, it was the classical music because of Bernstein. You know, there's it's no, the, the word doesn't matter. The music matters. The music's happening. Life is happening.